A Portland woman seeks answers after her husband was shot and killed right in front of her as they were coming back from a day trip to the coast. Oregon State Police say the shooting happened along Highway 18 in Polk County on Wednesday night at about 9 p.m. The victim died at the scene and the suspects are still on the loose. Fox 12's Adrian Thomas is live at the Fox 12 Mobile Newsroom with the interview you'll see only on 12. Adrian. Well, Pete, Oregon State Police say 45-year-old Dennis Anderson was shot and killed in what's being described as a road rage incident. Anderson was married with two teenage daughters as well as a stepson. Tonight, his wife speaks out to remember her husband, but also plead for justice. Oregon State Police say they're looking for this black car in connection with the shooting that killed Dennis Anderson. It's described as having a round emblem on the front, and police say the shots were fired from the passenger side of the car. Anderson's wife of nearly 20 years, Brandy Goldsbury, spoke to us off camera and says she and Anderson were coming home from a day in Lincoln City. She says the driver and passenger suddenly became aggravated while behind them on Highway 18 near the Van Duzer rest area, even attempting to run her and Anderson off the road. We decided to stop and call 911, pulled over. Dennis got out of the car. I was calling 911, and the people in the vehicle started shooting at us and, and shot Dennis in our car. Goldsbury says the suspect's car pulled up beside them, and a man on the passenger side fired what she says was a powerful gun that quickly fired many rounds. Goldsbury was not hurt, but is now living with the pain of knowing her husband's killers are still walking free. What can you say to people who might see this and what it would mean to you to get some justice. It would mean the world to me if we can identify these dri the driver and the, the person that shot Dennis. If anyone recognizes the vehicle that has been posted or has heard people whisper or talk about some kind of event like this, please come forward. Anderson has two teenage daughters with Goldsbury, and Goldsbury tells us her son from a previous relationship was taken under Anderson's wing as if he was one of his own children. She remembers Anderson as a compassionate person who went above and beyond to help people. He was goofy and funny and always willing to help people. He adopted basically my son. I was a single mom when we met. Uh, we had two beautiful girls. He was, he was a good guy. Like, it, it's rare to find people that I feel are as good as he, he was. Goldsbury also told us Anderson had even quit a good job so he would have more time to spend with their daughters. A selfless individual who put family first, taken from the world too soon in an act of cold blood. They, they stole, they stole the most important, like, most important person in my life from me and from his children. You know, it's the worst kind of theft. And the Oregon State Police is urging anyone with information on the shooting to come forward. A GoFundMe has also been created to help Brandy Goldsbury and Dennis Anderson's family during this difficult time and cover funeral expenses as well as basic household needs. If you'd like to help the family, we'll have a link to the GoFundMe along with this story on our website, kptv.com. Live in the mobile newsroom, Adrian Thomas, Fox 12, Oregon.